Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two adjustment layers, the color balance and the selective color. These two adjustments are rarely used, but at the same time, they can be very useful. Most Photoshop users tend to use the hue saturation, curves, levels, or vibrance adjustment layers whenever they want to play with the colors and make adjustments to them. But there's actually these two adjustment layers that I just mentioned, color balance and selective color, which are also very useful. Let me start first of all with color balance. So that's the one here in the second row, second icon. Once I select it, first of all, I can see that we have three options. We can decide which tonal areas we want to affect, shadows, midtones, or highlights. Once we select one of these tonal values, and I'm going to restrict my changes to the highlights at this point, I can see that we have three sliders. And these are the primary and secondary colors. So we have cyan on the left, and then we have the complementary color red on the other side. Magenta, green, yellow, and blue. So they are in pairs. And what happens is that if you drag a slider toward the color that you want to increase in the image, that means at the same time you are also decreasing the other color from the opposite side of the slider or you can think of it as a seesaw as well so let's just have a look at that if i going to drag this slider towards cyan you can see the cyan colors get much more dominant in the highlights areas if i drag it to the right then the highlights areas will turn more red like the sky for example and the good thing is that whenever you use adjustment layers, you can always um, just change specific parts of the image by using a mask. So for example, if I want to go for a nice warm color on, in the sky, but I don't want to affect the foreground, I can just simply invert my mask by going to the uh, mask options and then scroll down here and click on invert that will fill in my mask for the adjustment layer completely with black and then I can just switch to my brush tool and having white as the foreground color I can draw over the sky so in this case I only affected the highlights but also I use the mask so it will only affect the top part of the image so now if I go back to adjustments and um, I can just double click on this icon here, the color balance icon to switch back to the values. Having selected the highlights, I can see whatever changes I make will only affect the top part of the image. So I can even have a bit more magenta in the sky or a bit more yellow, or I can choose whatever colors I would like to have there. You can select the preserve luminosity to prevent changing the luminosity values in the image while you are changing the colors. So this option maintains the tonal balance in the image. If I turn it off, notice that the sky got more dark. So this was before and this is after. So let's see without the adjustment and with the adjustment. You can see in this case, the sky actually gets a little bit darker while having the preserve luminosity on can see that even though we change the colors the tonal values won't change so that was color balance and now let's have a look at selective color so selective color is another adjustment layer it's here at the bottom row and this one is designed to let you vary the amount of process colors so cyan magenta yellow and black in primary secondary colors and also the shades of gray whenever you select the color from here you will always get the same sliders so cyan magenta yellow and black but you also have an option here at the bottom whether to use this as a relative or absolute it's quite easy to understand how it works so for example at the moment i have green color selected and if i move the black all the way to the left then as you can see the green colors got a bit lighter if I move it all the way to the right they get darker because increasing the percentage of black in the green colors means that we make it darker and reducing the amount of black will uh, make it more lighter but let's see what happens if I move black back to zero and I increase yellow or reduce yellow 
you can see by increasing yellow we definitely add more yellow into the greens but if I reduce it that actually means I'm going to add more blue to the image so again similarly to the color balance here we are balancing colors and by reducing one of these colors cyan magenta yellow we are actually introducing the complementary colors so red green and blue so in cyan if I drag it to the left you can see it adds more red if I drag magenta to the left that will add more green so in case I want to emphasize the greens I would probably just simply drag magenta to the left and maybe uh, drag black to the right so let's have a look at that if I turn it off and turn it back on we can see we definitely increased greens in the image so we emphasized greens more and we can do the same with let's say science if we want to make the sky and the background a bit darker you can again add more black as you can see that it already made the sky darker and then if I want to add more blue I can just drag yellow to the left and we don't even really need to drag the cyan to the right in this case it's mainly the yellow which we need to reduce in these colors so we can have a look at it I was before and this is after so if you prefer to use a more simple adjustment to emphasize colors or to adjust them a bit you can use the other adjustment layers like vibrance or hue saturation but if you understand how the primary and secondary colors work and adding these or reducing their percentage is not confusing for you then I would recommend to play around with selective color because as you can see on this example as well it can create really good results and last I would like to just make sure you understand what's the difference between absolute and relative so you can see there's already a difference if I change these two when relative button is checked moving each slider changes the existing amount of cyan magenta yellow or black by its percentage of the total for example when you're working on an area with pixels that are 50% cyan and uh, you add 20% the percentage of yellow increase by 10% so it's usually a more subtle change and most of the time I would recommend to use the relative button when you want to retain areas of pure white in the picture so white won't change if you use relative while in absolute depending on the amount and changes you use in the adjustment you might see that the white will also change so you will get a shift in colors which will be very noticeable in this case I actually prefer to use absolute because it creates a much uh, better result and I don't really have much uh, white colors in the image so it's not an issue so there you have it selective color and color balance both of which can be used to adjust the colors of your images in different ways and although these adjustment layers are less used than the others that I already discussed in this series I would still recommend to give them a try because as you can see you can create really good results with them once you understand how they work Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time as well here on Tuts Plus.